Hey everyone, it's Kristen Fidel with Fidel Real Estate in beautiful Tampa, Florida. Now what we're going to talk about today is 85. So you might ask, well, what is 85? 85 is the next level of luxury in multifamily living. And they are six townhomes that are located on the waterfront community of Davis Island. And today we're actually going to walk through some of the floor plans of the units. We're going to walk through the details of the units as well as show a map and show how convenient it is to all the different amenities that both Davis Islands has to offer as well as how close it is to downtown. And afterwards, if you have more questions, you can certainly contact us. So let's get started. Okay, thanks for joining us. So we're going to kick off right away talking about 85. And what is 85? 85 are the luxury townhomes that are being built on Davis Islands. And we're going to actually run you through both the details of the, uh, the property itself, the construction of the property itself, as well, we're going to start with location. So let's jump right in with location. So what you can see in front of you is a map of the Tampa Bay area. And right over here, 85, you will see 85 Davis Boulevard and Davis Islands. And so this is the area where um, 85 townhomes are being built. And you can see the close proximity of 85 to downtown Tampa, just five minutes outside of downtown Tampa into the Water Street area. And then also just so conveniently located to the main artery of Kennedy up to Tampa International Airport and then uh, 275 I-4 corridor as well. So that's overall location. Now, if we drill down into the actual details of the location here, we have 85 townhomes being built right here. And a couple of, there's so many amenities on Davis Islands and that's one of the best benefits of 85 are the close proximity to just fantastic amenities located on Davis Island. So the first one being literally behind 85, we have the Santa Friedman tennis complex right here. We have the Marjorie Park uh, Yacht Basin um, right along Seaton Channel. And then as we begin to go south along Columbia or East Davis, we get into the um, Roy Jenkins Historic Pool, which is open year round, a beautiful city pool that was renovated about seven, eight years ago. Um, the Bayshore Little League. As we stay on East Davis, we get into the Davis Island Village. And so this is where we're gonna have tons of restaurants, um, coffee shops, tea, tea shops, um, shopping. There's a pet store there. Um, just a great walkable community right in the center of Davis Islands. As we move south, we'll also get into a long channel drive down to South Davis. There is the Davis Island Trail, and this is a walking, biking trail that takes you all the way around to the south side of the island around Peter O'Knight Airport. We do have an airport on Davis Islands as well, a recreational airport, and then the Davis Island Trail takes you south along uh, Severn to Seaplane Basin Park, and then obviously Seaplane Basin Yacht, the uh, Yacht Basin right here. As you come out from the trail, we have two dog parks, as well as a public boat launch ramp right here to take you out into the bay. And then there's a Davis Island Yacht Club, which is the members uh, yacht club right south there. So that is one of the things that is just so important with owning a unit at 85 is that you are in a truly walkable community. I also will mention that Davis Island is a golf cart designated community. So that also allows you that opportunity to not just have to drive everywhere, but you can also take your golf cart. Now let's flip over to 85. So as I mentioned earlier, 85 are six luxury townhomes. These are four story townhomes. And we're going to get into the actual floor plans, but basically you have the parking area, you have your um, living area on the second floor, and then you have your uh, third floor. And then on the top, fourth floor, you'll have your balconies or terrace, depending on which unit you have. And then within that fourth floor also, you will have uh, a lounge with a half, um, half bath as well as a, a wet bar. So each unit minimum square footage is 3,300 square feet. There are four bedrooms, there are three and a half baths, at least a three car garage. So that is just the size of that is just 
it, it, it's it's unique for this location. It's and it's unique for Davis Islands to have townhomes that are that large uh, on the islands. And one thing I will say is talking about the uniqueness of it, there is very, very limited um, land on Davis Islands that are appropriately zoned in order to build these style townhomes. And so, um, so that's one of the, the unique features is that there's not gonna be a ton of them uh, being built. So as we go down, um, a couple of things to point out regarding the, uh, the townhomes, they are huge open floor plans, uh, gourmet kitchen, uh, wood flooring, floor to ceiling windows. Um, and then from a construction standpoint, block construction, uh, impact windows and doors. Uh, they'd spray isonine um, spray. So you have a high efficiency in the units themselves. And then each unit also has its own private elevator. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna jump out into there's renderings. We're going to jump out right to some of the floor plans to give you an idea of the floor plan. So we talked about the ground floor of each one of these units. It's a minimum three car garage. You also have additional storage area here, or you could bring a golf cart in as well. So um, to have that much storage plus garage space is really unheard of on the island. Uh, we can always use additional storage, storage space and garage space. And so that whole bottom level ground floor of these townhomes is that type of parking space. And then there's an elevator that's gonna take you up to the second floor. As you go to the second floor, this is where, we'll zoom right in. This is where you're actually gonna see a little bit of the difference between the units. So um, the units on the second floor have your, your kitchen area, your dining, your great room, and then each unit actually has a guest bedroom suite on the back side of that unit. So on that floor, it's a great guest suite um, on the back side. And then, as you can see from these floor plans, or we can we can if you send us your uh, email, we can obviously email these floor plans to you as well as or all the details. You can see uh, A and E are those end units, so they're going to have <clears throat> the windows on the side. And then your interior units are gonna have just as large windows in the front. So you'll get a lot of natural light coming through really all these units, regardless of, of the location in the complex. And we move on to the third floor, which is more the living area. That's where your, um, your master suite is gonna be, um, as well as two other guest bedrooms that will, uh, will share a full bath. And then what's unique about A&E, is they actually have a um, soaking tub as well as the walk-in showers. Um, the walk-in closets are very, very large, particularly on these interior units, and the walk-in showers are large as well. And then what's, what's so nice is the fourth floor, and this fourth floor is fantastic. So in the interior units, B, C, and D, you have a front and back balcony area, and then within the middle of it, you have your lounge area. This is all air conditioned space here. And within that lounge area, you'll have a half bath and then you also have a wet bar. And so you can see that on uh, B, C, C mirrored and D. On the end units, A and E, it's actually a wraparound terrace that you have. Plus within there, you also have your lounge with the half bath and the wet bar. So this is gonna provide you a little bit more outdoor space. This is gonna provide you a little bit more um, interior uh, heated space. And then in the floor plans that we do send you, you're going to see um, each of these floors and the detailed makeup of, of each of the levels for each of the different units as well. So that is our floor plan. Now let's go and look at just a couple of renderings. So this is one of the renderings of the, um, the main living area. So it, it, they're not coming furnished, but there is an excellent opportunity to actually customize your unit. We're providing, um, you can actually hire an interior designer that we have. Um, there's a minimum, um, minimum spend on that, but they can really customize your entire unit from the flooring to the furniture, to the window treatments, even the, uh, the AV system. So that's all something that can be done through our custom, um, our custom design option. 
So here, this is just a rendering of what one of the units could look like and how you could lay things out. We also, if we look over at the kitchen, this is the kitchen as well. You can see um, over here uh, as an option, you can add a full um, wine, uh, wine fridge. And then with the, the, the kitchen itself, which is really nice, is that you have um, the waterfall countertops, um, nice wood cabinets throughout, the wood flooring throughout the unit. Um, and then a nice piece, I'm gonna see if this one. So right here, you can see we actually paneled, you can actually, we'll actually have paneling of the refrigerator as well. So that fits really nice in with the design of the unit itself. Pull out right here. So this right here is actually our sales brochure that we can send to you as well. And it goes over, uh, it shows some of the different renderings we have, but it also shows a uh, concise view of the floor plans, the sizes. As you can see, the smaller units are around 3,300 square feet, which is still large. And then those, uh, the larger units go up to almost 3,500 square feet. And that's interior heated square footage. Um, and then you can see the size of the different terraces as you go. But remember, all of them are four bedrooms, three and a half baths, plus three car garage. Um, we'll talk about also just some of the different amenities here that we have in regards to um, at Davis Islands and why it's so great. And then really focus on Forge Building Company. So they are a luxury builder in the Tampa Bay market. They've done a tremendous amount with single family homes, and now they're bringing their luxury signature design and build to the multifamily space, which is fantastic. And just some of the different finishes, uh, obviously with the kitchen, we have custom wood cabinetry, quartz countertops. Um, I mentioned about the water falling of those, which really adds a nice finish. Uh, we're using Gaginaw appliances, um, which is a high-end German brand, um, designer fixtures and then under cabinet lighting. And then there's the optional wine buyer I mentioned as well. And then construction wise, we talked about that. The ceilings are gonna be over 10 feet on those main living areas. So that's just, is gonna give you a lot of volume and improve that as the light comes in, you're really gonna feel, it's gonna feel spacious and open. And then I mentioned our interior design service, which is, um, which is a custom option you can actually do to customize your units themselves. So, um, so that is a quick rundown of 85. Um, love for you to, uh, to reach out to us. You can go to our website, you can respond in the comments, and we can certainly send you um, information, um, detailed information on both the sales brochure, the floor plans, pricing. We're starting pricing around the um, 2.25. So that's the beginning pricing. And we've only released at this point, we've only released two units. So if we look, only units uh, B and C have been released at this point. So thank you so much for your time. If you have any other questions, please reach out to us and we'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.